Seven days from right now, we will be in the thick of election results, which made tonight's debate the last before Texas and 13 other states vote in the Democratic primary. A new poll shows Vice President Joe Biden with a thin lead in South Carolina over Bernie Sanders, but it is Sanders who's the front runner headed into Super Tuesday, and that put him in the crosshairs tonight. Vladimir Putin thinks that Donald Trump is, should be president of the United States, and that's why Russia is helping you get oh. elected. I like Bernie. We came in together to the Senate, but I do not think that this is the best person to lead the ticket. Imagine spending the better part of 2020 with Bernie Sanders versus Donald Trump. Think about what that will be like for this country. Senator Sanders responded by saying that he's hearing a lot of his own ideas from 2016 coming from his fellow candidates. Now, the topics of this debate were pretty much as expected. Medicare for all, the legalization of marijuana, jobs creation. But there was also a question about how the candidates would tackle the threat of coronavirus here at home. Truly, the biggest fights tonight were all about getting enough airtime to give their individual answers. Now, early reaction is that this debate Debate really did change a whole lot, but with early voting underway, North Texans watching tonight could have already made up their mind and vote before even South Carolina has its say on Saturday. The truest test of this race will be on Tuesday, and after California, Texas' 228 delegates, delegates make our state the second biggest prize.